This is the Maurice Acqua Pontos S chronograph. Maurice Acqua are based in Sennelegier in Switzerland, uh, in the Jura. Um, a very interesting brand because in what is a relatively short time, they've come a long, long way. They've come into fame in the early 70s. And uh, they've, they've basically produced colossal continental watches, and their form is very, very impressive indeed. It's basically high quality, very, very accessible pricing, and great design. The design is absolutely superb. And this particular piece is no exception. If you actually look at it, you have a tri-compact layer, three sub-dials on, on presented. We have basically uh, a 30 minute uh, chronograph counter here below noon. Beneath, beneath that we have a 12 hour chronograph counter. We have a small seconds sub-dial here at adjacent nine o'clock. If you actually look at the, just above six o'clock within the, the sub-dial, you'll also see a date display as well. The central chronograph seconds hand features on down with a beautiful little smattering of orange just to enliven proceedings. And if you also look at the, the minute hand, again it has orange detail on, the, on its periphery and also white luminescent material to the centre. Um, the, the, the watch also has this graduation here on, on the inner flange, it's actually an adjustable internal ring and you actually move it by turning the, this, this patented device here at uh, 2 o'clock is basically the push piece that uh, uh, facilitates uh, starting and stopping the chronograph, but it also has this device which allows you to turn the inner rotating bezel. This is a very masculine watch, it's a, it's a very sporty watch, and uh, it's very honest. If you actually look, the bezel it has a, a highly polished finish and it contrasts sumptuously with this beautiful satin brush case band and lugs. It's also been presented on this uh, high tactile, uh, high, uh, high technical strap I should say, and it combines uh, rubber uh, with beautiful stitching and you can, if you look at the stitching it's in orange, it complements the orange detail on the dial and also it's on the time to lapse controller here at 2 o'clock. The, the back of the watch is solid, it's a solid case back and it's presented on, uh, with a steel pin buckle. It wears well, it's very, very comfortable, it's very honest. I actually think it's, it's a real man's watch, if you will, and uh, I think it's fantastic, great piece.